welcome back guys we are new on the new sony camera hopefully the quality has gotten a lot better but we have here the active products uh short stubby pressure washer gun and as you see it is very high quality it's got a nice rubber grip and a nice trigger nice little clicks so far in the hand feels really good i know cars with keith one of our buddies uh had a little gripes about it so we're about to see if we have the same gripes or if we completely disagree with them. So quick few things so far that I do like about it. The trigger feels really nice. The rubber, like I said before, is awesome. And then the quick disconnects feel really high quality. Um, and I haven't tried to connect it to the actual hose yet, but we'll get to that shortly. Uh, the trigger, like I said, feels great, but I don't really like this stop. I think out of all of it, this feels the cheapest, but I get it. No. Most people aren't gonna use it, so not a big deal. So that we could probably negate. Everything else so far, really, really good. And we're gonna start getting to test it. All right, and here we have SGS 28. I think it's MTM, I don't remember. But the weight difference is already a big thing I noticed. Very, very light compared to the active. And that might be a complaint for some people. That might not be a complaint for some people. For me, it's not that big of a deal. But I will notice that the trigger is very, very light on this. There's no little stopping point, like a click. So this just goes all the way through, very linear. Uh, but it is wobbly, as you can see, like this. And I don't know, that, that does feel a little cheap. The rest of it, very plasticky. Uh, so it's probably gonna be a little bit harder on your hand over long periods of time. But it does have a wider grip, so that might be another complaint for you. I have a small hand, so it's not that big of a deal. As you see, I'm not taking up this whole area from the palm or the fingers. This one also does have quick connects on it. Uh, this one I got from Obsessed Garage. So he had all the quick connects already installed on it when I purchased it. So this quick connect, of course, you know, OG, he likes high quality stuff. So this one feels fine. Um, and then the one right here, it did get stuck on my hose. Uh, but I don't think it's the problem with the gun itself. I think it was a problem with the hose, just lower quality metals. Um, and then for the rest of it, as you notice, these stick out a little bit further. Keith also mentioned on this that these items are all integrated in the gun itself. All right, so here you have both guns. I'm showing you a little size comparison between the two, side by side. As you can see, it is substantially bigger, the, uh, the SGS, than the Active. And as you see, that little stopping point, not really as wobbly. And as mine is squeaky, but I've had this for about three or four years. So it's, it's done its job, that's for sure. And I'm also going to have your BMW Master Tech Certified Binge come in and also Talk about what he thinks between these two. Here I am. Here I am. <laughs> this is everybody's favorite person, you know? Like, keep hitting him up in the DMs. <laughs> but uh, here's the active. I'm going to let you hold that first and tell me what you think. I'm going to be completely honest. I am not a detailing guy. <clears throat> but this feels good. This feels good, right? I, we, Me and Wang, when I used to live here with Wang, uh, you know, we watched our, you know, our M's, you know, pretty much every weekend and we used, you know, the, that pressure washer setup and we used this trigger and, you know, right off rip, you know, again, like I said, I don't know anything about pressure washer. I don't know anything about detailing, but this, like Wayne said, he's had it for a while, but this just feels lesser quality than the active. Like when I pull this trigger, it's, it's not as satisfying as when I pull the trigger on the active. And I guess it's that, uh that haptic feedback or that tick that you really get with the active, it kind of makes you feel like you're actually like pressing something. So that's where the quality comes in here. Um, there is a very, you know, noticeable difference in weight. The active does feel a little bit heavier, nothing too crazy. Um, but you know, this definitely does feel, you know, a lot better in my hand. My hands are a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker. Um, so, you know, this, this feels really good in my hand and, and I'm not saying anything bad about this one either. This one still feels good in the hand, but it's just, uh, you know, quality wise in comparison, it's not the same as the active. Um, so, you know, I'm sure Wang and even myself are both looking forward to seeing how this one performs uh, on the pressure washer today and uh, really getting some results out to you guys and, you know, comparing the two and which one is, you know, best for you. So 
That's my two cents. I don't know anything. I just change oil. I'll give it back to Wang. <laughs>
um, you know, in the hand while it's spraying itself. Um, it, it feels very balanced, uh, depending, you know, on what you're doing. Um, you know, everything just feels very solid. And uh, that's my, my honest review of it. And that's coming from somebody who doesn't know, you know, anything about it. I would, I would buy it uh, for my personal uh, vehicle to wash my personal vehicle. Uh, just because of how it looks, the design, and just, you know, how high quality everything uh, feels about it. So, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> Take this. <laughs> and also the fact that it's a swiveling gun. So this part can move when you're attached to the pressure washer hose and the pressure washer. That way you're not having to fumble around with the hose. You know, it just makes it a lot more convenient. Conveniency. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, so I think uh, all three of our consensus is that we do like the gun. Um, it's worth the purchase. And at, I believe, $79, if I'm not mistaken, and this oh, is, no. yeah, yeah it's, it, it's, it's a good price, it's for, good price. for what it is. Um, it's yes. Especially since you get the quick, quick disconnects that are with it, which, yeah, right here. So you got the quick disconnects here and down here, and then it swivels also. Um, it's a good value. I mean, I think I paid 50 for my SGS and then another 10 or 20 for the quick quick disconnects and swivels. So, uh, I mean, you're getting at one package for $79 and be sure to uh, click the link below to get yours. If there's any codes I can provide, I'll provide any of the codes that Active provides me and we hope that you get your gun soon. Thanks for watching. Peace out. And Wang, we'll see you in the next one. Peace and love.